Don't waste your energy is a phrase that often suggests being mindful of where you invest your time, effort, and focus. It's about prioritizing activities, thoughts, and relationships that contribute positively to your life. Here's a summary where you shouldn't waste your energy. 1. Don't waste your energy on the people that don't support you. Investing your energy in people who don't support you can be detrimental to your well-being and progress. Here's why you might want to avoid wasting your energy on such individuals. 1. Limited resources, time, energy, and emotional resources are finite. Spending them on people who don't support you can leave you with less to invest in positive relationships and personal growth. 2. Negative impact. Negative or unsupportive people can have a detrimental effect on your mental and emotional well-being. Surrounding yourself with positivity is essential for your overall happiness. 3. Undermined confidence. Constantly seeking approval from unsupportive individuals can erode your self-confidence and self-esteem. Being around people who believe in you can uplift your sense of self-worth. 4. Stagnation. If you're constantly seeking approval from those who don't support you, you might find it challenging to take risks and pursue your goals. Positive support encourages growth and exploration. 5. Lack of authenticity. Trying to fit into someone else's expectations can lead to a lack of authenticity. Being true to yourself is vital for genuine connections and personal fulfillment. 6. Missed opportunities. Focusing on unsupportive people might cause you to miss out on connecting with those who share your goals, values, and interests. 7. Energy drain. Dealing with negativity can be emotionally and mentally draining. Redirecting that energy towards positive endeavors can lead to better outcomes. 8. Healthy boundaries. Prioritizing your well-being includes setting healthy boundaries with people who are unsupportive or toxic. This allows you to protect your emotional and mental health. 9. Positive influence. Surrounding yourself with supportive individuals can provide positive reinforcement, motivation, and inspiration to pursue your passions and goals. 10. Emotional freedom. Letting go of relationships that don't support you can lead to emotional freedom. You are not burdened by seeking approval or validation from the wrong sources. Remember that it's essential to cultivate relationships with people who uplift you, inspire you, and genuinely care about your well-being. Surrounding yourself with a supportive network can contribute to your growth, happiness, and success. 2. Don't waste your energy on one-sided relationship. Here's why it's important not to waste your energy on such relationships. 1. Emotional drain. One-sided relationships often lead to emotional exhaustion. If you're the only one putting effort into the relationship, it can leave you feeling unappreciated and drained. 2. Unfulfilled needs. Your needs and feelings are equally important in any relationship. If your needs consistently go unmet, it can lead to frustration and unhappiness. 3. Stagnation. When a relationship is one-sided, it can hinder personal growth and development. Healthy relationships provide mutual support, encouragement, and opportunities for growth. 4. Lack of reciprocity. Healthy relationships are built on mutual give and take. If you are the only one giving, it can lead to resentment and imbalance in the relationship. 5. Self-esteem impact. Constantly investing in a relationship where your efforts aren't valued can lower your self-esteem and make you question your worth. 6. Missed opportunities. By focusing on one-sided relationships, you might miss out on forming connections with people who genuinely care about your well-being. 7. Healthy boundaries. Recognizing and addressing one-sided relationships allows you to set healthy boundaries, protecting your emotional health and well-being. 8. Limited space for positive relationships. When you're pouring energy into one-sided relationships, you might have less time and energy to nurture relationships that are mutually supportive and fulfilling. 9. Opportunities for growth. Letting go of one-sided relationships can create space for new relationships that align with your values and goals, fostering personal growth. 10. Emotional well-being. Prioritizing relationships that value and support you contributes to your emotional well-being and overall happiness. It's important to assess your relationships regularly and consider whether they are truly nurturing and beneficial for you. While all relationships have their challenges, a healthy relationship should have a balance of effort, mutual respect, and reciprocity. If you find yourself consistently investing in a one-sided relationship, 
It might be worth having an open conversation with the other person or considering whether it's best to gradually distance yourself for your own well-being. 3. Don't waste your energy thinking about what others think about you. Worrying about what others think of you can be a significant source of stress and anxiety. Here's why you should consider not wasting your energy on constantly thinking about others' opinions. 1. Authenticity. Focusing on others' opinions can lead to pretending to be someone you're not. Embracing your true self is liberating and fosters genuine connections. 2. Unpredictable views. People's opinions are subjective and can change based on their own biases and experiences. Trying to control or predict others' opinions is futile. 3. Self-confidence. Relying on others' opinions for self-worth can be detrimental to your confidence. Building confidence from within is more sustainable and empowering. 4. Emotional well-being. Constantly worrying about others' opinions can negatively impact your emotional well-being, leading to stress, anxiety, and even depression. 5. External validation. Seeking constant approval from others puts your sense of self-worth in their hands. Self-validation is more empowering and long-lasting. 6. Freedom to express. Focusing on others' opinions might prevent you from expressing your thoughts, ideas, and preferences freely. Embracing your unique perspective can lead to personal growth. 7. Misinterpretation. You can't control how others interpret your actions or words. People may misjudge your intentions, leading to unnecessary stress. 8. Time management. Spending time worrying about others' opinions takes away time from pursuing your goals, hobbies, and interests. 9. Control over reactions. While you can't control others' opinions, you can control how you react to them. Developing resilience and emotional intelligence is more valuable than seeking approval. 10. Healthy relationships. People who appreciate and respect you for who you are will be the ones you want to build relationships with. Focusing on authenticity attracts the right people. Remember that it's natural to care. Seeking validation from others can be draining and ultimately futile. Your self-worth should come from within and spending excessive energy worrying about others' opinions can prevent you from living authentically. Focus on your own values, goals and growth instead. 4. Don't waste your energy on the people who needed you occasionally. Investing your energy in people who only need you occasionally can lead to feelings of imbalance and dissatisfaction. Here's why it's important not to waste your energy on such relationships. 1. Emotional drain. Being there for someone occasionally can be manageable, but constantly being on call for someone who only reaches out when they need something can be emotionally draining. 2. Lack of reciprocity. Healthy relationships are based on mutual support and give and take. If you're the one consistently giving without receiving, the relationship becomes one-sided. 3. Feeling used. Continuously being needed only when others require something can make you feel like you're being used for your resources or availability. 4. Stagnation. Focusing your energy on relationships that are one-sided can hinder your personal growth and development, as your efforts aren't being met with equal support. 5. Time management. Spending a significant amount of time and energy on people who occasionally need you can prevent you from engaging in activities that truly fulfill you. 6. Respect for your time. Your time is valuable. Constantly being available to those who only occasionally require your assistance might devalue the time you could spend on more meaningful endeavors. Setting boundaries. Recognizing that your availability shouldn't be taken for granted allows you to set healthy boundaries in relationships. 8. Missed opportunities. Focusing too much on those who need you occasionally might lead you to miss out on building deeper connections with people who genuinely appreciate your presence. 9. Quality over quantity. It's better to invest in relationships that offer quality interactions and meaningful connections rather than spreading yourself thin for those who only engage when convenient. 10. Self-care. Prioritizing your emotional well-being means being discerning about where you invest your energy. Nurturing relationships that uplift you is essential for self-care. Important to have relationships that provide you with the support and fulfillment you need. Strive for a balance where you're able to invest in relationships that are mutually beneficial and meaningful. 5. Don't waste your energy on a problem that are not yours. Here's why. 1. Limited resources. Your time and energy are finite resources. Devoting them to problems that don't directly affect you can leave you with less to address your own concerns. 2. Reduced effectiveness. 
you are likely to be most effective at solving problems that are within your control and sphere of influence. Trying to address issues beyond your scope may lead to frustration and limited impact. 3. Increase stress. Constantly worrying about problems that don't directly concern, you can increase your stress levels and negatively impact your mental health. 4. Boundaries. Recognizing and respecting boundaries is crucial for your well-being. Focusing on problems that aren't your responsibility can blur these boundaries and lead to unnecessary stress. 5. Distraction from personal goals. Devoting too much attention to external issues can divert your focus from your own goals and priorities. 6. Drained motivation. Trying to solve problems that aren't yours can drain your motivation, leaving you with less energy to tackle your own challenges. 7. Enabling dependency. Taking on issues that belong to others might enable a sense of dependency, preventing them from taking responsibility for their own situations. 8. Healthy relationships. Encouraging others to take ownership of their problems can lead to healthier relationships based on mutual support and respect. 9. Personal growth. Focusing on your own growth and development allows you to become more effective at addressing issues that are under your control. 10. Opportunity cost. Every minute spent on problems that aren't yours is a minute not spent on activities that bring you joy, personal development, and happiness. While empathy and support are important, it's also essential to recognize when a problem falls outside your scope of influence. You can offer guidance or advice without taking on the full burden. Prioritize your own well-being and focus on the problems you can make a meaningful impact on, both for yourself and for those you genuinely have the capacity to help. 6. Don't waste your energy on thinking the things that you are out of control. Here's why you might consider not wasting energy on things you can't control. 1. Preservation of mental and emotional energy. Constantly worrying or thinking about things beyond your control can drain your mental and emotional energy. This can lead to increased stress, anxiety, and reduced overall well-being. 2. Focusing on what you can influence. By directing your energy toward things you can control, you are more likely to have a positive impact and achieve your goals. This productive use of energy can lead to better outcomes and a sense of accomplishment. 3. Reduced stress. Accepting that some things are beyond your control can help you let go of unnecessary stress. You can't change certain situations, but you can change your response to them. 4. Improve decision-making. When you focus on what you can control, you are more likely to make clear and rational decisions. You are not weighed down by factors that are beyond your influence. 5. Enhanced adaptability. Life is full of unexpected events. By not fixating on things you can't control, you're better equipped to adapt to changes and find solutions to challenges. 6. Mindfulness and present moment awareness. Letting go of concerns that are beyond your control can help you stay present and mindful. This can improve your overall sense of contentment and peace. 7. Better relationships. When you don't dwell on things outside your control, you're more likely to approach interactions with a positive and calm demeanor, improving your relationships with others. 8. Personal growth. Focusing on what you can control often involves self-improvement and personal growth. This could include developing new skills, adopting healthier habits, and pursuing meaningful goals. 9. Increased resilience. Not getting consumed by things beyond your control can contribute to greater resilience. You're better able to bounce back from setbacks and challenges. 10. Time management. Wasting energy on things you can't change consumes time that could be better spent on productive activities and pursuits. Remember that while it's important to prioritize your energy and attention, it's not always easy to completely disregard things that are out of your control. It's a practice that takes time and mindfulness, but it can lead to a more balanced and fulfilling life. 7. Don't waste your energy on impressing someone who is not interested in you. Here are some reasons why it's not a good idea. 1. Authenticity matters. Trying to impress someone by being someone you are not can lead to a lack of authenticity. Authenticity is attractive and builds meaningful connections, so it's better to be yourself. 2. Respect your worth. You deserve to be with someone who values and appreciates you for who you are. If someone isn't interested, it's better to focus on finding people who recognize your worth. 3. Energy conservation. Spending time and energy on someone who isn't interested can leave you emotionally exhausted. Your energy could be better invested in self-care, personal growth, 
and other positive activities. 4. Self-esteem and confidence. Continuously seeking validation from someone uninterested can damage your self-esteem and confidence. Focusing on your own self-worth is healthier in the long run. 5. Healthy relationships are mutual. Healthy relationships are built on mutual interest and respect. If the interest isn't mutual, the relationship is unlikely to be fulfilling or balanced. 6. Opportunities for better connections. By not fixating on one person, you open yourself up to new opportunities and potential connections with people who genuinely appreciate you. 7. Maintaining dignity. Chasing after someone who isn't interested can lead to situations that might compromise your dignity or self-respect. It's important to maintain your self-worth. 8. Time management. Spending time on someone who doesn't reciprocate your interest takes away time that could be spent on pursuing your own goals and enjoying activities that bring you joy. 9. Learning experience. Instead of seeing it as a failure, consider it a learning experience. You're discovering what you want and deserve in a relationship. 10. Emotional well-being. Focusing on unrequited feelings can lead to stress, frustration, and sadness. Prioritizing your emotional well-being is essential. Remember that it's natural to want to be liked and appreciated, but your worth isn't determined by someone else's opinion. Surround yourself with people who value and uplift you, and invest your energy where it will lead to positive outcomes and personal growth. 8. Don't waste your energy trying to change others' opinion. Wasting energy trying to change other people's opinions can be a fruitless and exhausting endeavor. Here's why you might consider not investing your energy in trying to change others' opinions. 1. Autonomy and individuality. Every person has their own thoughts, beliefs, and experiences that shape their opinions. Trying to change their opinions might infringe upon their autonomy and individuality. 2. Limited control. You have limited control over what others think and believe. People's opinions are often deeply rooted in their personal experiences, values, and perspectives. 3. Energy drain. Attempting to change someone's opinion can be emotionally and mentally draining. It can lead to frustration, stress, and disappointment if your efforts don't yield the desired results. 4. Focus on self-improvement. Redirecting that energy towards your own self-improvement and personal growth is more productive. You have control over your own thoughts, behaviors, and choices. 5. Respect for diversity. Embracing diverse opinions and viewpoints is essential for a healthy and open society. Trying to force uniformity of thought can hinder healthy discourse and understanding. 6. Healthy relationships. Respect for differing opinions is crucial in relationships. Trying to change someone's opinion might strain relationships and lead to conflicts. 7. Perspective shift. Instead of changing others' opinions, you might consider trying to understand their perspective. Engaging in open conversations can lead to mutual understanding even if opinions remain different. 8. Led by example. Often, the most effective way to influence others is by embodying the values and opinions you believe in. Leading by example can be more impactful than trying to impose change. 9. Time management. The time spent trying to change someone's opinion could be better used for more constructive and fulfilling activities. 10. Acceptance and tolerance. Learning to accept that people have differing opinions and practicing tolerance can lead to greater peace of mind and healthier relationships. Remember that while you might not be able to change others' opinions, you can still engage in respectful discussions, share your perspective, and contribute to an environment of understanding. It's important to focus on what you can control and to respect the autonomy and agency of others. Note, please use your energy on dealing with the right people, dealing with the right situation, and please use your energy dealing with your own battles. Save yourself first before you save others.